Now let's look at triangles. A triangle is a three-sided polygon. You can classify triangles by both the lengths of its sides and the measures of its angles. But we're gonna first start by talking about the lengths of its sides. So first, we have this triangle here. All three sides are of different lengths. When that happens, it's what we call a scalene triangle. Scal me scalene means no sides are equal. All right? When we get to a, a one like this, the next one, where sometimes you'll see marks like this, that means all sides are equal. When all sides are equal, we have an equal lateral equal lines is what it literally means and finally when you have something that's similar that has two sides that are equivalent where the last side is not we call that isosceles so an isosceles means that there are two equal sides in uh, the triangle like i said before you can also classify them based on their angles um, the first one we have here is what we call an obtuse angle or obtuse triangle. That means one angle inside, for this one, in the case it's this one, is greater than 90 degrees. When that happens, it's an obtuse triangle. Obviously, the other two are not greater than 90. Then, if you have a triangle that has a measure exactly of 90 degrees, you have a right triangle. A right triangle is a triangle composed of one 90 degree angle. And finally, when all angles are less than 90 degrees, you have an acute. So all of these measures in here would be less than 90 degrees. And that's what an acute triangle would be. Now when naming a triangle, you must name it by its angles and the length of its side. So as you can see in here, we have three acute angles and all the sides are equal. So we have an acute equilateral uh, triangle. Whenever you have an equilateral, it's always going to be acute because it's always going to have the same measures throughout. 60, 60, and 60 in every single equilateral triangle, no matter how you draw it, how big it is, or how small it is. In order to find missing angles inside a triangle, we must understand that a triangle is composed of exactly 180 degrees. If it's 181 or less than that, or less than 180, it's not going to be a triangle. All right, it won't meet at all the tips. Um, if it's uh, less than 180, it will never meet and it'll just go on forever. If it's greater than 180, it'll meet at a point other than the, the tip of a triangle. So um, we know that the angles equal 180 when all added up. So we have 70 and 30 here and we're missing this angle right here. So what we do is we take 70 plus 30 and we get our answer of 100. Now, like I said before, it's composed of 180 degrees. So then we take our 180 minus 100 to give us the answer of 80 degrees. So this last angle right here is 80 degrees. Now this triangle isn't drawn to scale, just so we know that this is actually um, an isosceles triangle, so that wouldn't be the case. But just so you know, when you're given things such as this, when you're given two angles. The third angle, you just add the two angles together and then subtract that from 180 to give you your final uh, angle.